What's up, my folks? I hope y'all are doing good. I'm out here relieving some stress. This is what I do when I relieve stress. It's my my gun range. Got it down there. Burn. That's a far shot. We got it down to 15 to 200 right here. About as far as you can get around here. People, ask, I've had a lot of questions. I told them six, eight months ago I was going to do a video like this, but it's coming up hunting season. It's what we do. Uh, kind of like to take all my rifles out for season that I'm going to hunt with. These are the rifles that I'll use this year to hunt with and get them all tuned in and make sure everything's good. Choices I like, I like a 7mm 08. I'm a big fan of a 7mm 08. Got three of them. That's, that's the one I'm going to use this year shooting 162 grain eldx is about 2750 in it works real well some it bucks the wind real good you can make pretty pretty good long shot with it keep it in in the kill zone pretty simple uh, this is my 30-06 i'm gonna get it tuned up today it's um i'm shooting 172 grain spear impacts in it pretty long range high bc bullet for a 30 cal and of course so i got my grendel selection I'm a big Grendel fan. I got four of them. These are the three I'll be hunting with this year. Um, this one's 16 inch. It's got a fax and barrel on it. This was my first one that I got from Bear Creek. Of course, it didn't shoot worth the shit. Had to snatch the barrel off, put a new barrel on it and all. It's the, the regular style charging handle on it, which I don't really like them as much as I do the newer charging handles, the side chargers. These are really a good modern sporting rifle, a really great hunting rig. That's another one with a 16 inch barrel, but it's stainless. Now that one ha that one was accurate. If you're going to use the Bear Creek for your for your rifles, I suggest you get stainless. That's the only barrel I've had from them that has shot good. Everything else I've had to pull off and put a fax on, except the 300 Blackout. That one did shoot really good. I I mean surprisingly really good. But I don't really use a Blackout except in Subsonics when I'm hunting around the house because it sounds about like a pistol shot and it's you don't have to worry about it going too far, you know. Um, the deer that I've killed with the blackout with the subs, it, it kills real well. I use a cavity back, 195 cavity back. You know, you want to keep your shots 50, 75 yards. I've actually found the bullets before. The The last one I killed, it hit the deer and bounced off the tree, and it was perfectly pelled back like a broad head and was just laying right there on the ground. So it pretty much used all its energy up, you know, coming out the deer. It wouldn't have went farther even if it had been in a field, you know. Um, that keeps it safe. You're not going to kill your neighbor's cow or nothing you know um and this one here this is one i this is my favorite one this is a an 18 inch fax and match barrel on a you know nice side charging rig that's got a aftermarket trigger in it really nice trigger um it's a single stage trigger you know just just perfect feels like a bolt action trigger breaks real light real clean match grade trigger they're all topped up with Vortex. I'm a fan of Vortex scopes. So I think you get a lot for your money. I like the Viper and the Diamond Pack line. It's such, it's not the high, high end line, but it's not the junky line either. Um, they seem to hold up real well and they're, they're good scopes. You know, guys are asking oh, glass. I mean, I like Leopold as well. Leopold's good glass. They're gotten really pricey over the years. Hawk, Hawk makes a good scope too, guys. For the money, you can't hardly beat Hawk. But I'm a Vortex fan. Their their warranty is outstanding. I've used it before, and uh, they have uh, held held true. Any problem, send it back. They'll send you a brand new one. That's one good thing about Vortex. Um, so I'm 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 the type of person. I'm a loyal customer. When when I get what I want, I keep up with it. Have you noticed? You know, like the Grendels. I don't bounce around with a bunch of different calibers. I do have AR-15s and 223 and 556, 300 blackout, all that shit. But the 6.5 Grendel is a true hunting cartridge. Now, it's not, you know, you're going to have people say, oh, it's a long range. It's not. I mean, that's just being honest with you. Keep them 250 and under, and you'll love the Grendel. I'm not saying you can't kill with it further, but you're really in its performance window from 10 yards to 250 yards that you, you can't tell the difference between it and, you know, any other rifle. It just kills that well. Now, I do like a 243. I got a couple 243s too, but this year I'm not using them. Um, and I got several other rifles, 30 out sixes and stuff, but these are the rifles that I'm tuning up for this year's hunt. Uh, I really like the 708 though. I have three 708s. Um, I got a Sour and another Savage, and I got this one that I put together. And, and this one is extremely accurate. And uh, so that's kind of my backup rifle I used. And then, of course, uh, 
seven millimeter Remington Magnum. That's my, my rifle I use when I'm shooting cross cow pastures and down power lines and such. It's a, it's a great rig. Now this one doesn't have a vortex. It's, I got the old Nikon on it that I've had forever. Um, but it's a good clear scope. It's kind of kicking the nuts to a sportsman that, uh, Nikon decided they want to be bird watchers and instead of, you know, supporting the people that kept them in their game. All my, I had so many Nikon scopes and last year I sent one back that was, you know, they're supposed to have a lifetime warranty and then they sent me a damn voucher for like $225 and the scope was over $400, you know, and it was like, that's really disrespectful to do to your customers. So I don't buy a bike Nikon anything anymore, you know, but this is a great gun. This is a seven millimeter Remington Magnum. It's a high country. It's very accurate. Uh, it's finicky. It's finicky. I'd like to use the uh, 162 grain ELDXs in it as well, but it's finicky. It doesn't like them. So I'm shooting the 160 grain ballistic tip in it. Um, I think we're shooting them. Yeah, we're shooting them right at 3,030 feet a second. And it, it'll keep them at 200 yards inside an inch. So that's doable for me. It, it'll shoot other loads too. It, it loves the 139 Hornady's old cheap interlocks. It loves them too. I mean, it'll put them in the same hole at 200 yards. But I like a little more, little more uh, weight with it for the win. You know, it's got a little higher BC in that 160 ballistic tip. And uh, today I'm gonna try some of the Acubons. I like the Acubon 30 out six. Um, I'm gonna see what they do. But the impacts have been working pretty good for us lately. And uh, on the Grendel, I'm using this year. I'm using the 115 grain tack. And of course, on some in my short 16 facts, and I use the one. 23 SST, it works real well. And in my stainless, I, I like to use the spear gold dots. Guns are like dogs, man. Some, they prefer certain things, you know. You got uh, to keep them with what they like. You know, you can't just say, I'm going to buy these bullets and use these bullets. The gun has to tell you what it likes. But this is my golf, you know. Some people like to play golf and uh, to relieve stress, this is what I like to do. I come out here to my own personal little range and uh, I piddle around an hour or two and uh, Try to make little bitty holes, little bitty groups at long distance. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's what that's what we use a lot in my camp. Um, like I said, we do use the 243 a lot too. But this year, um, they're my wife's gun, so I got them for her. So I don't even want to use them this year. Just kind of put them up in the back of the safe. And uh, there's several other calibers I reckon. You know, like. Six by Creedmoor, everyone loves Creedmoor. I do, it's a great cartridge, okay? You'll never hear me knock it. But like I said, I'm shooting the 708. I got three of them. I'm not going to change. I, I reload all my ammo and stuff. So, you know, every time you change a cartridge, you have to buy all new shit to load for that cartridge. Brass, uh, dies, uh, bullets, you know. So I kind of keep it with 7 millimeter, 30 cal, and 6.5. And, of course, my 6 millimeter stuff. Uh you know, then you got, you know, your smaller cartridge, like 30, 300 blackout and your uh, 223 and stuff like that as well. But I only, in, you know, around the house, I use the, the 22 Magnum more than anything, you know, if I had to kill something. But if I'm hunting deer meat, I usually use the Grendels around here and the 708 and uh, 30 out 6 is a good backup gun. I like it. I've done real well over the years, my whole lifetime with 30 out 6 and, uh, and I like the 7 Mag. Those are, those are my choices. Those are what I, uh, I use. It's, I'm not saying they're the best choices, but they're my choices. Anyway, folks, I hope y'all are getting ready for hunting season and, and, um, getting everything together. Don't forget to take your rifles out, shoot them, make sure everything's good with them. Cause I know y'all cleaned them and put them up over the season, get them fouled out and, uh, and driving in good. Y'all take care. Y'all stay safe. God bless you and keep on bulldogging.